Hello crochet friends. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tiny little taco. These are great for keychains or uh, props for dolls or stuffed animals. And they are a very quick, good stash buster. So all we're going to need is our three colors of yarn. I've got my green, I've got my yellow, and I've got my red. I've got a needle, scissors, crochet hook. This is a D or 3.25 millimeter. And then I have a keychain, which I order in bulk off of Amazon. Okay, so let's get started. First step is to make the taco shell. We are going to crochet in the round using a magic ring for four rows, up to 24 stitches around in the fourth row. So I'm gonna start with my magic circle. Which I do demonstrate in another video. And chain my one and then I'm gonna do six cro single crochet in the circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'm going to use the tail to pull it tight. Okay, and then we can just ignore that tail. It'll be hidden inside our taco shell. Okay, so I've got my six. In this next round, I'm not going to join and chain. I'm just going to keep continuing in the round. I'm going to increase in each stitch for a total of 12 stitches. So we go one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's the end of our second round. Now we're going to increase in every other stitch around with a total of 18 stitches in this round. You can place a stitch marker if you want, but I'm just gonna count. One, increase here, two, three, four, increase here, five and six, seven, increase here, eight, nine, 10, and then increase here, 11, 12, 13, then increase, 14 and 15, 16, and then last increase, 17, 18. All right, that's round three. The last round that we're gonna do is two single and then an increase. Two single and an increase all the way around with a total of 24 stitches. If you want, you can place your st stitch marker or move a stitch marker, but again, I'm just going to count. One, two, increase, three, four, five, six, increase here, seven, and eight, nine, 
10, increase here, 11, 12, 13, 14, increase here, 15, 16, 17, 18, increase here, 19, 20, 21, 22, and then the last increase, 23 and 24. All right, so there is our taco shell. We're going to finish it off. Uh, if you want to sew it to something, like a keychain, make sure you leave a long enough tail. So I'm gonna leave plenty of tail to make sure that I can sew it to my keychain. So now I'm gonna pull it all the way through this last single crochet. And then using my hook, what I'm gonna do to get kind of a smooth finish, instead of a slip to join it, I'm gonna go in, not this one, I'm gonna skip that and go in here. I'm gonna insert my hook and I'm going to pull this through, just all the way through. And then to finish this piece, I'm going to go, make sure it doesn't go blurry here, through this hole here in the middle of this stitch to where it's coming through to go back through. So you can do this by threading your needle and going in, or you can stick your crochet hook up through to be able to pull it all the way back through. And then you can just kind of tighten that. Now, when we're ready to sew all the pieces together, you'll finish up with this tail. But for now, you can just leave it be. All right, so that's our shell. Step two is I'm going to make the lettuce. So I have my nice lettuce across the back. This one, super simple. You'll need to triple crochet for this one. So we are going to, do, again, do a magic ring. And I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to do 10 triple crochet stitches into the ring. One, two, three, and four, Five. Sometimes you have to adjust this tail to make sure that you don't lose it and crochet over it. Six. Seven. Eight. nine and 10. Oh, missed one. Go back on. There we go. And then to finish it off so that my tail is in the middle instead of sticking out just for ease of this project, I'm going to chain three and rejoin it to the middle of my ring here with a slip, pull it through, and trim. You don't need to worry about a tail because you won't be sewing with the green. So that's the end of that one, and then you pull this tail from the magic ring to tighten it. Not too tight that it breaks, but real tight so that it cinches up that hole. 
And then I'm just gonna do a couple knots in this so it doesn't come loose, just for security. All right, so there's our lettuce. So we've got our shell, we've got our lettuce. Let's make some tomatoes. We are going to make three little tomato pieces. Now for this, we're just going to make a magic ring with six in it, slip and join. So I do my magic ring again. Chain one, and I'm gonna do just six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, then pull your tail tight. Join it to the other end with a slip. And just pull it through and through. Trim it. Don't worry about leaving any. You don't want any other extra bulk inside. This is old yarn that actually ripped. So there we go. Now I'm going to trim this as well, or the tail from the magic ring, because we don't need any red for sewing, only yellow. So we'll make two more of these. All right, by some magic, I have my other two tomatoes done, and I am ready to sew. If you're ready to sew, let's keep moving, or you may pause the video and get ready to do the next part. All right. So I've got my shell. This is what I'm gonna to use to sew. I'm going to thread my needle. And I'm gonna fold the taco in half. This is gonna be the outside of the shell. And just tuck this in, you can trim it if you want. And I'm gonna fold my taco in half. I like to use where I finished it as a side rather than the top so that it hides this slightly irregular piece a little bit, and also it's a good starting point to sew from when you're folding it in half. Okay, so this gets folded in half. I'm gonna trim the tails of my lettuce, because I don't need those. I'm gonna sit my lettuce. I'm just gonna sit it in here. And then I'm going to insert my tomato slices where I want them. Along in there. And then I'm just gonna pinch it together. You can use pins if you like. I like to just go for it. So here is my taco. And I'm gonna use my needle to sew through the sides. Just stitch these two sides of yellow together, but go through the filling. So I'm gonna make sure that my needle goes through red and through green before it comes back out yellow on the other side. And I'm gonna do that all the way across. And where I'm sewing, I'm going underneath the stitch that kind of hides the sewing a little, a little bit, kind of blends in. All right, and I'm just gonna continue all the way down, going through every stitch, making sure to go through the lettuce and the tomatoes. You can't really See my stitches? Because I hide them right under the top stitch there. Okay, just a few more stitches and we will have a taco. Through the red, through the green, through the yellow. And 
and then just close it up with one more stitch. And you can tie a knot and hide the tails inside if you are going to just be using this as a prop or a decoration. But if you're going to be using this as a keychain, now is the time that you get that keychain out. So I'm just going to stitch through the bottom of that keychain and through my taco. I'll just do that several times to make it nice and secure. Just through the keychain and through the taco. Until it doesn't really fit anymore because there's too much yarn in it. And do one more stitch through the key, the taco here and make a knot. I'm going to hide my tail inside the taco. I'm going to go through, pull it through, and then I'm going to go just back through a couple times to make it extra secure so we don't have that tail pop out. And we'll do one more zigzag here. And trim it. And there you go. It's a taco. Now, if you would like to make an even tinier taco, I can help you with that as, as well. I'm also going to show you this super tiny one. This I've used for uh, sewing onto a doll's hand that was supposed to be holding a taco. So let's move on and do the super tiny taco. All right, move these up here. For the super tiny taco, it is just two rounds. We're going to do the round of six and the round of 12 with the yellow for the shell. So let's get started. So just like before, we're going to do our magic ring. You can tell that I like magic rings. Chain one, and we're going to do six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Pull tight. We'll ignore that tail. All right, now we're going to do our increase in each stitch all the way around, finishing with 12. Move these out of the way because it wants to focus on them and not me. One and two, three and four. Five and six, seven and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, now we're going to do what we did before. I'm going to leave a tail for sewing. Not as long for this one, maybe. All right, and we're going to pull that all the way through. Do what we did before, we skip this one, we go through here, pull it through, and then we go through the middle of the stitch where it's coming out. Once again, you can do this with the needle if you want. I usually just grab the hook because it's still in my hand. Pull that through there. All right, for a nice edge. And again, we're going to use this as the corner. Okay, so now we're going to get right into sewing for this one. We don't make 
separate pieces for the lettuce. Um, I find that it's good to thread the needle before you get everything in place so that once you're holding it, you're ready to sew. All right, so I'm just gonna stuff my tail in there and sew up the sides of the taco, just like we did the other one, except that we're not going through any other pieces. We're just stitching together this round of 12 single crochets folded in half. Nothing else, just these two yellows. All right, so after we're done with that, stitch up. I'm gonna leave my tail so that I could sew it to something and unthread my needle so that I can use it. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the tomato and the lettuce on this one. I'm gonna add the lettuce first. I'm just gonna trim a little bit of green and I'm gonna stitch it across the top. Basically, I'm going to use where I stitched the yellow through to loop my green around. I'm just gonna stitch, basically loop that, and just do some random stitches across the top, zigzaggy of green. In and out, up and down, come on. And it doesn't really matter exactly where you come in and out, just as long as you're happy with it. And I'm gonna go back, see, I'm gonna go back up through. Come on, little yarn. Okay, back up through. If you're happy with it, you can go ahead and just hide your tails inside. So I'm gonna hide that tail and trim it. That's the one I just finished. And then I'm gonna hide the tail from the beginning. Just stitch in to the taco and pull it through. And then I'll give it a little trim. Okay, now it needs some tomato. We're just gonna cut a small piece of red and do the exact same thing we were just doing. I'm just gonna stick it up here. And stitch kind of back through where I was. Make a, a loop. And then We'll go down in here. And we'll go back around this one. Go backwards and through. And if you're happy with how your tomato looks, you can just stick it back through. And trim our ends. And if you need to hide a little piece, you can just use your needle to push it back in. All right, there is your super tiny taco that you can stitch to a doll's hand or do what you like with. Uh, if you would also like to add cheese, you can use the same stitching technique to stitch on some orange or white, whatever color cheese you'd like, yarn onto the top of the tiny, super tiny taco or to the keychain taco. If you wanna stitch some, use this stitching technique to add some pieces of cheese across the top. All right, thank you for making tacos with me. Now I kinda of wanna go eat tacos. All right, bye, thank you for watching. <laughs>